To the midterms now where Democrats may have held off a red wave, but late tonight we still don't know who will control Congress. Here's a look at the latest balance of power. On the left, Republicans just need a few more seats to win the House. That's looking likely. On the right side is the Senate, which is really coming down to the wire. With three races still undecided, Republicans need to win two of them to take the Senate. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson helped the Republicans' chances. He defeated Mandela Barnes to win another term. Meanwhile, Minnesota's balance of power will lean to the left. A stunning upset means that Democrats will control the Minnesota House, the Minnesota Senate, and the governor's office. A trifecta not seen since 2014. Here's WCCO's Caroline Cummings. My colleagues and I are celebrating with our Senate DFL caucus for a Minnesota Senate miracle. Democrats are celebrating a surprise win, taking back the Minnesota Senate and holding on to the House. We know what Minnesotans want. And with his victory, Governor Tim Walz now has the green light to push his priorities, like investments in education and supporting abortion access. We're not going to see things that Minnesotans need be stalled. We're going to see things that are able to move forward. Meanwhile, the polls were wrong in the attorney general's race with Keith Ellison winning re-election. I am going to go to the folks who didn't support me, uh, and I'm going to say, hey, look, guys, how can we get back on the same page? And in the second district, Representative Angie Craig had to fight hard to hold on to her seat. We battled so much outside money in this race, the single most expensive house race in the history of Minnesota. Really done everything I can to reach across the aisle, and that's who I am, and that's who I'm going to continue to be. From the surprising to the history-making, voters made Lee Finke Minnesota's first trans lawmaker. I just felt like it was absolutely essential to have someone from our community in those rooms. And gave Dewana Witt the sheriff's badge for Hennepin County, making her the first woman and first person of color to hold the job. Growing up as a little girl, I never saw myself in this field. And just to know that I'm actually where I'm supposed to be. You know, this is my purpose. The state thinks about 2.5 million Minnesotans cast their ballot this election. That's about 61% of eligible voters. Now, to put that in perspective, about 64% voted in the 2018 midterm election, and about 51% voted in 2014. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.